What's up, guys? Open Face Sandwich here. I'm gonna do a quick review. Hey, come on. Let me make some space. We're gonna do a quick review, but let's make some space first. Paper towels and shit. Saws. Look, saws on the table. I don't know. Don't ask me. Uh, we got propane. No, not that. So we're gonna do some reviews on uh, some pickles and like some condiments. And uh, all right, first of all, B and G. You know, B&G's a shit, you know? If you're from Jersey, you know B&G's a shit. Hot peppers and all that. But we're doing pickles today. We're doing the zesty garlic. And we're doing the bread and butter. Okay? Let's start there. Uh, we got the hot sauce friend just showed up. So, man, all right, we'll talk to you too. We got the hot sauce friend. So let's start with the zesty pickle first. Now, I love pickles, right? But I'm very particular about what kind of pickles I like. And this new one for me, Zesty uh, Garlic B&G Pickle, I haven't had this yet. First of all, I can tell you right now, you know, aesthetically, uh, structurally, I'm not too happy. Look at it. That doesn't look, you know, you want this pickle in your mouth? I don't think so. But, I'm going to put this pickle in my mouth for you. Here we go. Look at that. You know, tastes like a pickle. You know, the garlic, yeah, but it tastes like cheap garlic. No, uh, no, we don't want that pickle. Fuck these. No zesty garlic. So let's try the B and G bread and butter. Now bread and butter is like my all-time favorite, especially on a nice sandwich, open face sandwich, right? Get in there, get your hands in there, get a nice one. This is the crinkle cuts. Now bread and butters. Now you gotta be sweet, right? Savory. Gotta have a nice crunch to it. These look a little too of a pickle to me. Both chase them out. Mm -hmm. uh, that was good. That was a good brand of right there. Well, we got the t-shirt up. I know. But, uh, that's a good... Oh, that's the smooth mode. You're gonna need that. If you eat too many of these fucking pickles, you're gonna need that. This. But this right here, that's... That, that, that does a trick. Let's have another one. Another bread and butter. Look at that. Crinkle cut. Pretty good. But look at it. It's too flimsy. Right? Structurally unsound. Not good. But the taste is good. You know, it'll get you through the day. You know, if you're making a quick sandwich at work or something like that, it'll get you through. But it's not gourmet. It's not artisanal. Whatever. So that's the pickle. Let's clean the juice a little bit. See the juice? Make it nice. Clean the juice off. Now, next. This hot sauce popped up in the middle of the pickle review. I don't know how the fuck that happened. But anyway, if you like hot sauce... But you don't like pain, right? This is the hot sauce for you. Because it's hot, but it's very flavorful. It's got a good taste to it. Makes everything taste better. Eggs, Chinese food, Italian food, Indian food, whatever. Any kind of food. This makes it better. Period. This makes it better. I'm not going to taste it right now because I got pickle juice in my mouth. But anyway. Now, the next, uh, what's this? We got the coffee showed up. Oh, hello, coffee. I don't know. This shit's just coming at me. Sumatran Reserve Coffee. Yeah, it's good. So then we got the uh, Yeri Yeri Very Very Teriyaki Marinating Sauce. It's made by a Jewish guy. Apparently the story is he met some uh, Asian girl. And, uh, I don't know, they invented this thing or whatever. I bought it. It was on sale. But I put it on some, uh, we put it on some chicken. Made a stir fry or some tofu, too. And let me tell you, this is the best teriyaki I ever had. All right, now I'm gonna let's take a quick taste here for you. Let's take a quick taste. Let's take a quick taste. <laughs> oh my god, it's the best teriyaki. It's the best teriyaki right here. You gotta get it. Get this teriyaki sauce. Open face sandwich. Going out. <laughs>